Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing off 24W09A, a pretty significant snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition. And for the reason I'm on the title screen, what do you know? We have a new menu. So without further ado, let's investigate what this snapshot does. In here, we have, of course, Minecraft. And scrolling around, you can see, uh, it's pretty large on the right, so I'm not going to be covering everything. A massive amount of technical changes will be going on. Unfortunately, I'm not a data pack developer, so I cannot explain those. But all I'm going to say is it's likely going to re require major rewrites for data packs. So, first off, the bog now looks different. It has mushrooms growing directly out of it. Overall, I'd say it looks better. And ironically, looks like some fan art I've seen of it. And then, drops two mushrooms. You can shear it, ironically, so that's a weird mechanic. Not entirely sure how anyone will find that without the wiki, but anyways. Wind charges no longer have randomness. Really nice. Wolf armor has been improved. Then, pick block with NBT data attached will give a renamed item. Better UI. So, a bunch of things going on here with all the UI. So, of course, I'm not going to be able to cover everything. So, let's look in game about the tangible things that don't require technical info to know about. For the new UI, you can see it on the title screen, and you can see how it goes transparent. You can make it 50% blurry. This is roughly how it looks in game, but I prefer it without, or you can make it extra blurry in case you never wanted to see anything behind it. But I'm going to leave that at zero. And this will affect all menus. So you can see English, haha, <laughs> location reveal, it's almost like that was on my channel the whole time. And then, of course, all of the various accessibility, it will be for your realms, multiplayer, single player, go through everything. So going into this world, I mean, this is my snapshot world, you can see how this background stays the whole time. If you much prefer the dirt background, then don't worry, because one, Haha, <laughs> I was still recording the last intro. But, if you like the old background, then what you can do is go back to programmer art in order to give it that classic look again. Although, that does have the unintended side effect of making everything look like programmer art. In case you were wondering why dog armor was so weak, well, here's how it worked formally. It worked exactly like golden horse armor. However, People didn't really like that implementation because it means that strong attacks like creeper explosions, warden hits, etc. would completely kill the wolf. And that's completely true. It would only work against smaller hits like arrows, even though most of the damage a wolf takes will likely come from stronger attacks or accidental player mishaps. Now wolf armor functions differently. This will absorb a certain amount of damage before breaking, and I will say it is quite strong and it has multiple levels of decay, this thing can take 64 damage, and it's quite strong. And the damage doesn't even leak through. Notice how the dog's tail is still high. So, let's get a very powerful sword in here. And that's how strong it is. It completely destroys that iron golem. Now let's test it on the wolf. See, it completely survives it without taking any real damage. So, it does have durability now, so you have to be careful with it. So, say I do it again, and notice how it still survives. Well, I can repair it, and now this thing is completely repaired again. So although there's a chance of breaking the wolf armor, it means it can survive some very powerful attacks. Considering this thing can one hit kill an iron golem, and can't break this armor, that gives a good indication of how powerful this armor is. Next up, we have ourselves more wolf armor stuff. Although it's not quite strong enough to take down a warden, although enough wolves will do the job surprisingly, because they can tank several hits from a warden before their armor breaks, well you can have dyed armor. So now that I have this wolf, wow one heart really doesn't like me, you can give it the wolf armor, or like leather armor, if you combine it with dyes in your inventory, it can be up to two I think, same physics as normal leather. You can now have your own custom dog armor. This is a nice burgundy with red and black. And now I have burgundy wolf armor. 
and remember, it can still be repaired. So even if it does take a couple hits from something really powerful like my testing sword, well, notice it's still damaged. You can see it right through, so it's not a disadvantage to die, and then you can repair it right back up. So keep this in mind when using your wolves. The fact that you can take the armor off with shears, and that you can repair it with scoots along with dying it. With the bogged, well, they got a nice little model change. Notably, their head looks a lot different now, and it has mushrooms growing out of it. And what do you know? These are mushrooms. However, think about mushrooms. You see where I'm going? You can shear them. You can now shear hostile mobs in order to make it different. So, accidental game mode change there. Well, if you get enough bogged, say you go to a trial spawner, you can shear them, and then you can kill them in order to get their drops. So now you can profit extra. It's pretty much random which mushrooms you get. I noticed a tendency to get more red ones than brown ones, but that seemed to be unlucky stuff. But anyways, this is a new way to get mushrooms if you ever need some. For the final non-technical change, we have another vault change. Notably, there quite different from trial chamber spawners now. You can see, well, you can't really mistake them for one another anymore. Although they originally looked pretty much the same, well, they're visually distinct now besides the coloring. And even then, vaults are significantly more armored than the spawners. So hopefully you're not mixing them up anymore. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And leave your thoughts about the new wolf armor in the comments below. So, either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw.